Oh, yeah. Hello, hello, beautiful heroes. Julie, thank you for the resub. 40 months, baby. <laughs> 40 months old. You are a 40 month old. Yes. <laughs> uh, Julie, what would you like that to go towards? Uh, I think by now you guys know the choices, but Resident Evil 8 or Subnautica Below Zero? 40 months is kind of old for a baby? Nah. Nah, it's still in the womb at that point. <laughs> uh, welcome to uh, Jora Julie Error Cookie Fizz Redeemer. Welcome. How's it going, guys? Uh, Jora, baby should not be banned anymore, actually. Fun fact. You should be okay. I thought my sub was a few weeks ago and put my sub towards something already, so we good. Oh, yeah, we did do that. We did. Charles, welcome! Ready to do more of Adi's dirty work. Hell yeah. Let's get dirty. Let's get, let's get dirty. We're actually, actually doing the DLC this time, guys. Uh, and you know how I know that? Because that thing that was up there is now gone. So it knows we have the DLC now. It's, it's really top, top notch. Zero, welcome, how's it going? Julie can say it because she's a mod. Still banned, no, I took it off. I swear to God, I took it off. The hell, Twitch, I took it off. Now I'm gonna, now I have to go fix that. <laughs> Baby question mark? I'm sure I'll know what that note means when I find it later. <laughs> I'm sure that won't be misconstrued in any way in my brain. How is everyone this fine Thursday? How has your week been? Can't wait for Bach to find that just baby question mark? <laughs> Um, previously on Control, we finished the game and then dicked around finishing side quests and struggled. Hey, there's our quest! Struggled to fucking figure out how to activate that quest specifically, um, to do the DLC. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we're gonna, we're gonna change clothes first. We gotta change clothes first. It's a requirement that we be dope matrix suit. Oh, that, that took a minute. You okay there, buddy? How are baby formed? You know, I couldn't tell you. Good Don't know. You, Don't know a thing about it. Don't the elevator. Oh. There was something there. Reaching for her. It's to Alan Wake, her. you guys. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A hunger in the dark. Investigation sector. Investigation sector, huh? How weird would it be to just be out. going about your daily fucking life and just have that shit pop up? Be like, oh, I'm getting a vision. <laughs> be crazy. Uh, do you want to do Alan Wake or Foundation first? I Foundation, apparently. Does it matter? Does the order matter? Is there a specific order I should do it in? Oh, no. Now you have, you have me doubting my life now. It doesn't matter. Okay, cool. Um, oh, how do I, oh, it's just very slowly opening. I thought we were trapped for a minute. Alan Wake it is. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That was uncalled for. Hello? Unnecessary levels of spooky. Anyone here? Guess not. <sighs> I spy with my little eye a file. Uh, also, stairs are for losers. So we're only flying from now on. More crowded than the rest of the bureau. The investigation sector. So is this where they like would listen to the radio reports and decide, yay or nay? Oh, so many things, guys. We're gonna have a hell of a ready time. Oh, we're gonna be reading for days. This is good. This is good. Hmm. Good shit. It's not working. Okay, that's fine. Probably a loose power core somewhere. Oh 
good at reading stream, yes. Should I not be here if I'm gonna play the base game at some point? Um, I don't know. This one, ta this one doesn't have a bunch to do with the base game if I remember correctly. Okay, Julie, this one has to do with Alan Wake, which if I remember right, you have played some of or watched Odd play some of. I need some Alan Wake experts in chat today because I have not, I, I think I watched Odd play it like 60 years ago and I do not remember a fucking thing. I know that like he's a writer and his writings came alive or he started to live his stories or something and he like lost his mind. I think that's the extent of my knowledge. There was a man named Alan. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was an Alan. Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. You didn't need your desk, did you? Aha, that's where our missing power power brick boy is. Okay, um... There's one over there. Okay, I can't, like, I can't get it from here. We gotta... We gotta manually take this. Wait, what just happened? Give it to me. I stole it back. There. Now that gate's wow. open. It like hardcore latched onto that. It said, yes, this is mine forever. His wife got kidnapped by book demons. Oh. Slowly, welcome. And he was woke. There was a man named Alan and he was woke. <laughs> is that what happens when you read books? Your wife gets kidnapped? Man. No, thank you. What is this? We got a new material? This late in the game? Um, okay. Let's, let's do some reading. We've got a lot. We've got a lot to do here. Oh, darling investigation. Oh, no. Official findings report. Read uh, Dr. Casper Darling. Uh, by the way, I, I just want to preface this with I definitely have not been dreaming about Swole Darling. No. Nope. No, no dreams of any kind. Um, per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation D084-5 was launched into the ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the accounts of anonymous redacted regarding inhumane treatment of redacted currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Is he torturing animals? Inhumane treatment of what? What is he treating poorly? I don't like this. My sweet boy darling would never do anything terrible. <laughs> I'm a tilt Boggs. Let's be real, Boggs has also been dreaming about Swole Darling. Like we all have. Good way to get so rid of someone you don't like, become their husband, start reading. That is, that's the long game. That is, <laughs> that is hardcore the long game, holy. Um. Numerous obstacles arose during the investigation. The majority of redacted sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such redacted contained there. One redacted confirmed the redacted's code name to be redacted, but all files pertaining to that name were inaccessible, being classified under the highest clearance level. Investigators were simply similar, similarly blocked from entering the redacted research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. Is he, like, abusing the rubber duck? Is that... is that what they were mad about? While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into redacted research. Uh, then we got director investigation. Per authorization of Mr. Kirkland... Man, Kirkland, this man is investigating everybody. Uh, redacted was launched into Redacted of Director Zachariah Trench. Oh, now we're on to Trench. Okay. A recent change in Redacted witnessed in Director Trench, including aggressive Redacted when Redacted with other staff, has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable redacted between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff. Although both declined to meet for interviews on the matter, witness accounts suggest their argument arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the redacted kept inside. However, no evidence exists to confirm Dr. Trench's redacted 
as anything more than interpersonal disagreements. This investigation has concluded that Director Trench's behavior is not indicative of, of any redacted and that his fitness to fitness to lead is not in question. Then we got an ethics investigation. It's a lot of redacted today. It's zero story, a lot of redacted. Book demons. No, Julie, they're talking about redacted. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, this one's about redacted. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland's internal investigation, P142-9 was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program redacted by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects relevant to the investigation used executive privilege to decline interviews, very little first-hand information was gathered. However, anonymous sources and documentation declassified by Mr. Kirkland both painted paint an alarming clear picture of systematic redacted and redacted. Yeah, great, good, fantastic. Uh, redacted were brought into the oldest house and placed under redacted examination and testing with the aim of appointing one as director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic redacted of paranaturally inclined redacted. Not only is this a breach of the ASH Act, but it flies in the face of basic human redacted. This investigation team is unequivocally, unequivocally redacted the Prime Canada program and recommends that it be redacted immediately. So this must be about our brother? It's too much redacted in there for me to get much. Kirkland, Kirkland needs to chill. I, I, he, to be fair, he is the head of investigations, so I suppose his name probably has to be on everything. Air Julie, Charles, thank you for uh, contributing to the Narwhale onesie stream goal. How close are we to that goal, by the way? Let's take a peek see. Oh, we're about we're almost fifty percent. I have purchased and am now in possession of said Narwhale onesie. So it's like official. <laughs> um, Dr. Reha Underhill is a professor at the University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology with a focus on botany. Dr. Underhill is the mold lady, right? If I remember right. Um, Dr. Underhill once worked with the Bureau as a parabotanist stationed in the research sector of the oldest house. She served with no incidents or demerits and is praised by those who formerly worked with her, including Dr. Darling. Dr. Underhill is known has no known connections to paracriminal organizations. Paracriminal. That's the first time we've heard that word. Is there like a ring, of, like a black market? Oh my God, there totally is a black market for paranatural items, isn't there? Uh, connections to paracriminal organizations or any record of breaching her NDAs since leaving the Bureau. Her civilian behavior has been ideal with the exception of an ongoing personal relationship with Dr. Darling that appears to have begun during their time as co-workers in the research sector and revisited intermittently ever since. Depending on the duration of her work in Oldest House, it may be required to have both parties sign a relationship clearance form. This investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Hunter Underhill a interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. Cool. So they vetted her. Tractor procedures. <laughs> There's a track. What happened to the tractor? Um, okay. Item is not in bureau custody. None known. Okay, so we don't actually have this item. A Frank Elk tractor, olive green, dry blood on the grill when last seen. Item is capable of vocalized responses or growls and unmanned locomotion. Considered highly aggressive and dangerous. They have a cursed, hungry tractor. <laughs> Somewhere. Not in the bureau. They have a, there is a hungry tractor on the loose. This item first came to the Bureau's attention after the death of William Burrow, owner of Burrow Farm outside Trenton, Texas. Local authorities arrived at the scene after an employee was found, mutil found the mutilated body of Mr. Burrow beneath his tractor. Police arrived, but were immediately driven away by the tractor. Panic calls to federal authorities were interceded by Bureau communication staff. A team was dispatched. Upon arrival, the agents approached the item. It responded by growling like a bear. Three agents were injured uh, when they tried to detain the item, uh, which escaped. Aerial searches for the item are ongoing. Speaking to Mrs. 
Burrow only revealed that she had a domestic altercation with Mr. Burrow earlier that night of the incident. But these events are connected is currently unknown. Tractor supplement. Note, miscommunication led to led a local coroner examining the body of William Burrow. Uh, he's male, Caucasian. Case summary, 33-year-old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner office. Uh, also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries to the head. Laceration to the left ear and cheek. Blunt force injuries to the extremities. The dislocation of his right knee. Complete avulsion of the right upper extremity with associated fracture of the proximal right humerus. Extensive trauma. Abdominal region. Complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine, all missing from the scene. Oh my god, it ate him. It ate him. Conclusion, it is my opinion that Mr. Burroughs' death is not the result of a mechanical accident, as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with an animal attack. His tractor ate him. Oh my god. I vaguely remember that uh, the book Demons in Alan Wake could possess things. Oh my god, if I have to deal with possession monsters. Okay. Um, this is the Casey Inquiry. These are new names. R. Dennis to Dr. from Dr. Gleason. Uh, eat Randy. Oh, eat Jesus. Randy, eat Randy. Eat Randy. Eat Randy. <laughs> this scares me every time. <laughs> Tractor A Randy. Aaron, thank you for the sound videos. What would you like it to go towards? Eat Randy Tractor. Technically it, it ate it ate Burrow. Maybe his first name was Randy. Maybe it was Rand No, it was William. That's a lie. It was William. Can Randy be short for William? Resident Evil, you got it. Oh man. I scared the, the bejesus out of me. As it always does. Okay. Uh, Mr. Dennis, a request came through recently from an FBI agent asking for our... Uh, did I say thank you? Thank you for the sound buddies. Uh, for all our files on Bright Falls, specifically on the disappearance of author Alan Wake. Per the uh, interagency information exchange agreement, I had some paper pushers gather up a folder of all pre-approved files. Don't worry, all the inappropriate material is either missing or redacted. But I'm writing to let you know that we received a request from a special agent named Alex Casey. Sounds familiar, right? That's because Alex Casey is the name of the fictional detective in those hard-boiled crime books Alan Wake wrote. Pretty interesting that FBI agent sharing a name with the most famous writer Wake wrote is looking into a case dealing with the writer's fictional coming fiction coming true. I think this is worth looking into, what, but what's your opinion? Just give the word and I'll start surveillance on this guy. Okay, so Alan Wake's fictional character, Alex Casey, wrote to the Bureau about the disappearance of Alan Wake? Okay, all right, this is gonna get wild. To Chief Investigator Dennis, it happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our redacted. Could be raccoons. The locals certainly complain about them enough. But why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got the Bureau Tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of reoccurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Redacted Lake if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't know, even know what they're researching out there. We need a, the, to petition them again to share their info with investigation agents. It's only a matter of time before this Redacted hits again and I want to be prepared. Anyway, I have another at, I ha, if, if, Jesus, that was not even close to the sentence. Anyone even want to take a guess how much gluten Miro ate today? <laughs> Based on brain power, brain power levels. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might investigate some other, some raccoon traps. Sincerely, Agent Estevez. Seven? All of it? God, if I ate all of it, we wouldn't be streaming right now. If I ate all of it, I would be dead on the floor. 
in a lot of pain. Uh, it was not. It was not seven. It was. It was one. One noodle, not one noodle. It was one bowl of noodle. It was one nude. One nude, please. <laughs> Mr. Kirkland, here are the latest agents confirmed missing, presumed dead, from the containment breach yesterday. We're missing Agent Jonathan Corner, researcher Ezra Cruz, Agent Coraline Dempsey, uh, Agent Lindsay Malcolm, Agent Charles Murray, Agent Derek Shaw. Letters of condolences will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. You'll be updated as soon as additional confirmations are made. Also, per your request, a network in engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not archived yet, and the only hard copy that reports uh, exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. Well, that's no good. An entire nude. Miro eats nudes. Good to know. I do. I do eat nudes. <laughs> I do eat the nudes. The gluten nudes. Uh, I, had, I had udon for lunch, and damn me if it wasn't delicious. Uh, redacted of Redacted, 2019. Uh, to whom it may concern, it is with great anger and regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. <gasps> Kirkland, oh no, he quit. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's redacted. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now relay my actions to speak louder than my, my words ever could. I blame this situation on our redacted, who has routine, routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming parts of the investigation sectors lost to the redacted loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that firebreak. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. That redacted has failed his agents. The redacted has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. Sincerely, William Kirkland. So something's happening with the firebreak. It's killing people. They've asked for help somehow. Um, like the working conditions are not great. So they've asked for assistance. No one's listening. So Kirkland said, okay, fine, I'm out. Uh, let's see if this makes you change your ways, essentially, which seems like a weird way to go about it. But he didn't did he chill. I don't think I don't think he chilled. <laughs> I think he went harder, if anything. Um, uh oh, this is from Trench to Kirkland. This is his official warning. Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you 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 want this to be true, but you are head investigations. This failure is your responsibility. Why did you? What did you think? Uh, would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations. The containment sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this type of work. In fact, they have admirably taken a certain on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. And don't think your petty interval investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The Prime Candidate Program only failed because of Darling. You are both fail failures plotting against me. Okay, so Trench has lost it a little bit at this point. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. Uh, you are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Sakurai Trench, director. Okay, so he lost it a little bit there and uh, maybe drove Kirkland to quit. Uh, we've got some staffing issues. Mr. Dennis. So yes, there is an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. If you expect us to detect, investigate, and process more AWE cases, you need to give us more people. It's simple math. Between the staff we lost in the Hartman thing and the ones who left uh, our for other departments after Quirk Kirkland quit, we're barely managing to keep up with the workload. Hell, just filing the paperwork for all the altered items we left behind in the sector has be been an ordeal. Another thing, and this is going to sound paradoxical, but we have an overcrowding situation. That is very paradoxical. <laughs> we need more people, but mm, also more space. Uh, the lobby isn't meant to accommodate a whole sector's worth of staff. We put forward a motion to move investigations to a more suitable location months ago. 
it better not still be sitting on your desk. The people are getting restless, and Kirkland's, as Kirkland's interim replacement, it is your job to handle it. Best regards, Agent Grayson. Okay, so Dennis stepped up after Kirkland quit. What is this, a workplace for ants? So something happened, right, with the fire break. I don't know what that means yet. Uh, that drove everybody to have to work in the lobby, I guess, is what it's sounding like. Let's listen to this in full here. Darkness engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Vaden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Vaden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star and the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Oh, yeah. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtly. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her okay, I was going to wait until this is over, but it's going to take a while. Bugs, thank you for the resub. That is a lot of months. What would you like it to go towards, goal-wise? Uh, Resident Evil 8 or Subnautica Below Zero. Also, thank you for the 40 months. I really appreciate the continued support. Almost a year. Almost a year. So, so close to a year. <laughs> the one that's lower. Um, Let's see. Currently, Resident Evil 8 is lower, so we'll add it to that. Cool. Okay. Back to Alan. I felt it, too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense, as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away. And made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man. A man desperate to escape. She sensed something else, too. A hunger in the dark. Not unlike the hostile resonance. Waiting. She knew that desperate acts had really? consequences. It was this, more than the man suspected, it's chicken packing. that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on. The darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. I have issues. Faden pressed the button. The elevator door slid shut with practice bravado. Um, it's called setting the vibe, Julie. <laughs> the writer vibe. I have issue with the fact that Alan Wake is writing what we're doing. I don't know why, but it feels weird, meta, and broken. Uh, also, Charles, thank you. The fire break is a the big black rock doors with the bridge between uh, that seals off areas of the oldest house, like the Panopticon. Thank you. That makes a lot more sense. So something happened with one of our bridges. Welcome to Alan Wake, but he can't write me because we're the reason that, like, I have a feeling that we're the reason that he's supernatural. Like, he has a haunted typewriter or something, right? Man, I just got done reading. <laughs> More things! So many. Nice. Oh, claimed it so hard I knocked over equipment. All right, let's read a little bit more. Um, office finding report incident A49, internal and confidential. The purpose of internal investigation X-039-7 is to examine, examine the containment failure of specimen SI-1 that resulted in the deaths of redacted agents. An inspection report of the contamin containment equipment three days earlier showed no faults. Investigations suspect human error to be the cause, yet no department has proved provided any evidence to support this. Technicians were able to recover the researchers' notes on the specimen for the internal network. On the redacted of redacted, the specimen began displaying a sharp increase in aggressive redacted. Cross-referencing the date with various logs found only two events inconsistent with the sector's daily routine. One, the air filters were changed, and two, the hour prior to the incident, a civilian named Alice redacted. Isn't it Alice Wake? Isn't she like a wife or something? 
Uh, Alice entered the sector regarding the un unrelated investigation. See interview 65F124. No, maybe Alice. Maybe out. No, that doesn't sound right. Alice was his wife who got kidnapped by the demon books. We're sure? Okay. Uh, given the connection to the same AWE case, it is likely that Mrs. Wake's presence is relevant to the specimen escaping and to the redacted investigation is ongoing. Okay, yes. Okay, yeah. So Alice was wise. So Al Alice Wake entered and something happened with uh, specimen SI1, which I'm going to assume is like the typewriter because I'm pretty sure we have a fucking haunted typewriter on our hands. I'm no detective, but something definitely happened here. Ah, oh, no. Jesse, what are you talking about? This is normal. Oh, we're gonna go back to the hotel. Okay, first, let's do more reading. Uh, one more time. Just one more time. Blessed organization. Paracriminal, paracriminal profile. The blessed organization. Oh my god, is this a cult? Is this a cult? Oh, it sounds like a cult. This group slash individual has operated outside of bureau notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found various methods of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered items case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. In 1994, a Los Angeles-based public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in illegal use of an altered item. In 1988, a business called Blessed Repair for S and Service was suspected of involvement with an object of power uh, case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of altered items and objects of power is too direct to be considered circumstantial. An arrest order has been issued for any persons believed to be involved with the Blessed organization. Refer to 732-0922 for full report. Oh, man. Hey, Squid, welcome. Oh, damn demon books from the demon library in the demon court sanctioned by the demon sect that put me in the office demonically. Oh. <coughs> oh, man. How's it going, Squid? Welcome. All right, let's go to the ocean view. On that note. Do we know each other? I feel... This feels familiar. So I Alan Wake that. is tied to this hotel. I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. I don't like this. Uh, Alan, your transmission's getting a little scrambly. Who are you? Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. There's nothing to worry about. Tom, the poet, the diver, you, you look different. That was just a, a role, a character, the protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker, an auteur like yourself. We're working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. You need a drink. Yes, I do. Will it make it stop? Will it give me a clear picture? Darling, what was he doing? <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Keep it together, awake. <coughs> Thomas A. was also now awake, pretty sure he's dead. Nah, he's right here, he's fine. <laughs> darkness, nothing holds still. But we're very close now. For real, nothing right. holds still. A 
found a way to escape. It'll work this time. Riding? You found a way! No. I... I don't... Wait. There's something. It's my double. He's out there. I I've seen yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing to worry about. I'm dealing with it. It's fine, my friend. Let me handle him. You've met him? What the hell? Oh. Now, now, come on. You misunderstand me. What about a double? I didn't like that door. Let's not open that again. Let's just keep that shut. We don't need it. That was the Alan Wake? The famous writer? He disappeared years ago. It was all over the news back then. And hmm, Thomas okay. Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. D -d he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. This is the first time we've been here at nighttime, and it is disturbing. Oh, God. That didn't even ring pro- Oh, God. I don't like this. This is too haunted. Stop. Extra haunted snacks. Oh, God, no. Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. Oh, Jesus. L listen, maintenance, I'm a little busy. <laughs> I'm not even at the office right now. Dr. Emil Hartman. Uh oh. Powered by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose, killed everyone he could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came a resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. I'm sorry, excuse me, what? Did he just allude to death? I don't like that Alan Wake is involved and you're turning off lights, right? I'm not here for that either. Practicing for Halloween. Uh, I just remembered something. It might be fun uh, to find out in this game if they address it. Fine, keep your secrets. <laughs> Haunted snacks, <laughs> potato chips, ghost chips. All right. Let's watch his full his full story Dr. here. Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. Okay. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay. He really is a terrible typer, though. Dusty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC. Brought in, contained, studied. The thing, the thing broke loose, killed everyone it could. Like a the swamp FBC monster. Held back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Oh no! Not darkness, but similar enough. The sound. Oh no. A resonance. Oh god. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought, could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless. But weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Okay, so Hartman worked at the FBC. Hartman went into a lake. Hartman came out a monster thingy. He got contained by the FBC. Then the residents hit him and he changed into something else. That's what I got out of that. And I don't look forward to meeting Hartman. He can stay the fuck away from me. And I wonder if there's more things behind these doors. I would like to go in the upside, up, upright. 
upright triangle door. Each door is a different DLC. <laughs> I always go in this door. It's nice to be home. Or I can break windows. Fuck shit up. Okay, so here's the fire break. Um, it's looking not so hot. That's okay, we can fly. It's the thing that had Ben Hartman. Oh, yeah, 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 my bad, my bad. The thing. Can I just... Nope, I can't just ollie on oop into there. Um, that's looking like a place we need to be. Unfortunately. You stay over there, ball boy. Mmm, ball boy. Uh-oh, I'm losing it. Okay. The store doesn't open. That's great. That's fantastic. Hey, Hula Medulla, welcome. How's it going? We might have just fucked up. I don't think the store opens either. It does not. Cool. Let's go to the next one. There's some there's some blood on the doorstep over here. That's not looking great. Oh no. Oh god. Oh buddy. Oh, what a way to go. Doing great. Hope you're doing great as well. I am. I am. Thank you. It's very hard to write a cover letter and pay attention to this game at the same time. I completely understand that. Not abandoned. We got this guy. Never mind. It's abandoned. Totally abandoned. Not a soul in sight anymore. <laughs> I have questions. Um floor probably shouldn't be doing that oh boy that doesn't look like a house shift do i even want to oh, this is barfy i'm gonna touch this do the hiss have a soul wow charles you're getting deep on us eh um oh because i they, she said not a soul Hmm. I think yeah. I think we could argue yes, their soul's still in there because when Jesse got corrupted by the hiss, she was still there. Although when Dylan got corrupted by the hiss, not really. Although Dylan also might have never had a soul to begin with. Oh. Oh, that just killed the man. But don't run away. He let me shoot him in the butt. I got him in the gluteus maximus because he chickened out. If you guys had a choice, would you rather be shot in the butt or in the dick? Asking real questions here. But, but. But, but, <laughs> okay, we've got a resounding but. Cool. I don't have a dick, so I picked that part. Oh yeah, if you if you don't have a dick, then what? What are you getting shot in? I guess vagina. It'd be really, really, really hard to manage to shoot someone in the vagina. Like that shit's at a weird angle. I don't think it'd be possible. Ooh, Hartman arrest. All right, we're getting some Hartman details. Oh, it's filing cabinet. Um, oh, okay. Oh, how am I supposed to? But I went in there. Oh, down here. Yeah.
You gonna be okay, buddy? He's also, he's like in, in, unintentionally making a jam. That's a bop. He's scared. <laughs> he's quaking. He's quaking in his wheels. Paladin, welcome! But lots of meat and uh, not much risk of hitting a major artery. Oh yeah, probably not. But can stop a bullet depending on the thickness. You're probably right. Put him out of his misery. It's okay, buddy. There you go. I'm not sure that's much better, but there you go. Be thick, safe of life. <laughs> Always aim for the butt. Is that the moral of the story? What if what if butt shooting was the new like kneecapping? I'm a little bit lost. I'm not gonna lie. Service tunnel. I just wanna make sure I'm not missing any files, but I can't keep up with where we have or have not been. Okay, there's like the middle chunk. And then you got this side, which we went in. No paperwork. Okay. Okay. And then you got left side. No, this is the middle again. Oh wait, that's the middle. Oh, I see this is the middle. Okay. Okay. All right, my brain figured it out. This darkness is blocking the door. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. Light Get it away, huh? fucked. This is my new best friend. This little, this little boy's coming everywhere with me. There's spooky noises in here, and I don't appreciate it. Why are those lights pointing towards that thing? Oh, I lost my friend! Oh my god, that door sounds so scary. Not a chance. Oh boy, how did this become a horror game? Really quick, because the enemies in this area are stronger. Um, <gasps> Ooh, three objects. Oh, that's exciting. Um, I guess health. Sure, why not? Oh, we're out of points now. Okay, cool. I feel like Alan Wake wasn't that great of a game, but it was one of the first real ones I played, so I'm like nerding out <laughs> this bit more than I should be. That's cute. Uh, Alan Wake had the potential to be a really good game, but I got so confused trying to follow the plot Whoa. that it just Looks didn't like work the out. house has gotten a little wild in here. <laughs> wild house. Dun -dun 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 wild house. Oh. Gonna, let me let me get in there. Let me let me get in here. Oh, it won't let me. It's an invisible barrier. But I'm the director. I gotta go get my light back. Wow, I somehow managed to really wreck that shelf. Oh boy. That is a hella dead man. He's lost the bottom half of his face. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Dusty. Man, Underhill really has her work cut out for her. I, why can I not get past this fence? Are you shitting me? You force me to walk around it? I 
probably can't pick this up anyway because all my mods are full and I don't feel like cleaning them. I'm lazy. Oh, oh, oopsie. That's not what I meant to do. You should be able to launch more things at once. Yeah, it looks like if I do this. Wapowie! <laughs> That's fun. I want to keep this, though. I'm afraid of the dark. As one should be in this fucking house. No, no, no! Are you shitting me? Oh my god. You, you guys heard that, right? I'm so out of here. Oh, nice, Julie. Congrats. <laughs> All right. Well, the game broke my light. It's really, really just unfair. I'll take this one. Filing processing and firebreak are that way. You guys hear the demons right now? Aw, sad little plant. I also hear a baby crying. Not a fan of that one. I don't like that this like, like, mm, this isn't the hiss anymore. So it's like new scary. You know what I mean? Extra horror. Huh, fuck, okay. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. What? The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. No, you stay you stay in your darkness, thanks. You need to spam these while I have them. Go for it. Anytime I'm a hot mess, you use that dumpster fire. <laughs> My understanding of the darkness is fragmented, incomplete. This abyss, this void, it very much does not wish to be understood. If light symbolizes knowledge, then it stands to reason that darkness would equate to ignorance. By its very nature, it abhors comprehension. Of course, my own nature drives me to comprehend all. We are opposing forces, destined to collide. And given this conflict of natures, we know that the light of truth will burn away the darkness, both figuratively and literally. Any significant light source can be used as protection, even weaponry against this metaphysical gloom. And then there are the artists. I know for a fact that Tom, Wake, the Anderson brothers, and Lane all had some involvement with the darkness. The question is whether their uncanny ability to affect reality through their art beckons the darkness, or did their work perhaps even create it? With Wake now secure okay. in my lodge, I expect I shall grow closer to learning the answers to these questions. Assuming he cooperates, which is proving quite the challenge. Well, perseverance is the foundation of knowledge. Speaking of, I must be off on my rounds. So. It's still going. Uh, he just said that uh, Wake, Zane, and, and the Anderson brothers all create things with their works. Is that what I got? Mara, welcome! Oh, uh, yes. Julie's book is really good. I'm glad that you got it. Oh, it's such a good one. Oops, kick that. Um, we need something. Oh, nope. That just opened. Never mind. I thought we needed to power it, but we don't. Oh. Very nice. I have a feeling that was a bad idea, somehow.
Ah, oh, all I hear is Audi's music. That freaked me out. I can't see what I'm picking up, but I will pick it up. I need more light. Where? Oh, there we go. All right, we're taking the stairs. We're taking the stairs. We're gonna go grab that light because I can't see what the hell I'm doing in here. Very nice, very nice. Ah yes, a toilet. Oops. I just shut that in there. Okay. Uh, wow. Check out my bathroom explosions. Beautiful. There is a board with more Audi jobs. Oh, I'll have to go pick those up. Um, I wanted to check out this. Um... Um... That should be good enough. I can pick up that. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hmm. Aha! This is the board. You aren't wrong, buddy. Get rid of I'll do my best, Tati. You don't have to be aggressive. <laughs> Can't F it. Agent there we go. Day six inside the military. Utilize surveillance methods are as follows. Motion detectors in the lobby area. Trip wire triggering a flash camera across the main entrance, even fingerprint powder on the front desk. Results are varying at best. But mostly just inconclusive and unusable. The footage is corrupted. Sometimes even the equipment is damaged. I don't know how exactly. I uh I think this place is making fun of me. <laughs> That's the only well explanation. A Rolodex is getting away. Laughing and screaming behind the closed doors. I could hear the call bell go and ding multiple times a day, but when I look, there's no one there. I know I'm supposed to stay out of sight, but I've seen the doors closing just before I can catch even a glimpse of anyone or anything. They're messing with me, whoever they are. I think. Wait, shh. There's something. I gotta get this. Gotta get the cable out. Come on, you fiber optic fuck. Cooperate. Okay, there we go. I think he's losing it a little bit. Uh, Paladin, thank you. I will add this quote. Boop. Oh, I see how that quote could be, uh... Oh. He wasn't done. The recording better work this time, or I swear to God, I'll... What? Hello? Who's there? Oh, shit. I'm with the FBC. Move away from the door. I have a... Where's my... I don't think this dude's gonna be okay. Um... He, he, he sounds like he's losing it. God damn it. You can't F and carry a light at the same time, it would seem. 
I keep just pooping it on the floor. Oh? Oh, what happened in here? Reminder, all employees are required to report their hours at the end of each month. The Federal Bureau of Control maintains that time is not subjective, and hours oh, passed on alternative yeah. cannot be claimed. Astral dives do not accumulate overtime compensation. Thank you for your attention. What what happened in this bathroom stall? Jen! Uh, thank you for the resub! Welcome back to the superheroes. Happy two months! Jen, how's it going? Thank you, thank you for that resub. Uh, Jen, since you've only been here for two months, uh, we, we do goals like this sometimes, uh, where anything counts towards the goal, resubs included. So you can put your resub towards either Team Subnautica Below Zero or Team Resident Evil 8. Whichever one wins at the end of the month, I will be playing that game. Uh, keep in mind, Miro hates the ocean and Miro is spooked by Resident Evil. <laughs> uh, most people vote for this one uh, for Lady Dom, I mean, really. Uh, and people vote for this one to scare the pants off me. I do love vampires, I do, I really do. Uh, you already chipped in just by resubbing, so you can put your resub value towards either one. So just let me know which side you wanna be on and I'll add the value of your sub towards it. Resident Evil 8 for sure. Okay, another, another Lady Dom fan, you got it. I will add that. Uh, it, actually, let's go ahead and tally it up since we do have a couple. Let's just do it right now. Um, Okay. Do I gotta do math. That sweet, sweet arithmetic. Which is the wrong word to use because I can't actually do this in my head. Oop. Ooh. It's it's catching up. It is catching up to uh Subnautica. But thank you for that resub, Jin. How are you? How's it going? Subnautica is way to the spoopy. I feel you. I feel I, I feel like I'm actually going to get spooked no matter what we do. Um, one has hot vampires though, and one has ocean creatures. So, I mean, it's really, it's player preference. I'm great. We finally don't have to wear masks anymore. Um, are you in the States? Air, thank you for the biddies. Don't tell Cookie. I'm assuming, I'm assuming that's for Resident Evil to make this a nice even number. Do I, do I need to do the math? I should probably do the math. Not that I don't trust you. What the hell just happened? Yeah, yeah, that's a nice number. God damn it. <laughs> Cookie, no! <laughs> oh no. There's one uh, specific area of Resident Evil 8 that is too spoopy for me. <laughs> you are in the States. Partially vaccinated, but I'm done with that, so I'm going ahead of the game. You're done with what? You're done getting vaccinated? You can't stop after one. I was summoned banned cookie. <laughs> Julie, thank you for the biddies. Wearing a mask, wearing a mask, got it. Julie, thank you for the biddies. You want your biddies to go to sort Subnautica. Okay, and I'm assuming Cookie wants hers to fuck up that Resident Evil number again, because why not? Thank you for the biddies. Um you guys just like ugly numbers, eh? That's fine. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's fuck up all the numbers. It's fine. It doesn't hurt me at all. Um. How do we get this door open? Oh. I also need to look at Audie's quest. I don't know what he has in store for us. Eliminate the darkness, eliminate the shine light on the plants. Oh, we found that plant, though. Where's my light? Where did my light end up? Can I take this lamp? That is a no. I cannot steal that lamp. 
Oh, where did I drop my light? Oh no! <sighs> this is a travesty. Oops, tripped over that. Ah, files looks brighter. Okay, this is where the plant is, but I don't have a light for him. Um, does it respawn? It does not respawn. That is a tragedy. Okay. I'm uh, really wrecking a lot of things today. Oh yes, this one respawned. All right, you're coming with me, baby. Ah, shit. I'll fix this somehow. Jim, thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Which, uh, which side? Which side are those going towards? Is that going to make an even number? <laughs> That's the only thing I'm concerned about. Resident Evil, you got it. I'll go ahead and do that right now. Thank you, thank you for those biddies. Guys, love and chat for the biddies. I calculated for even. Bless. Bless. Anyone who loves an even number <laughs> is a friend. These crazy kids and their crazy numbers. Trying to make ugly things. Thank you, thank you for those biddies. I really appreciate those. Even more so since they're even numbers. <laughs> Actually, technically, it's an odd number. But you know what I mean. A solid number? An integer? What do you call those? Man, I've been out of uh, math for too long. Cookie. Cookie, don't do this to me. Cookie, please. Go. Doesn't that feel better? Oh, wow. We got the plan from clear over there? Okay. Sure. Oh, Cookie. I'm gonna ignore it. I'm ignoring that biddy. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't happen. There was no biddy. <laughs> I'm putting it on the list, but I'm not, I'm not adding it. I'm not adding it to the number. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. Now I'll add it. Now I'll add it. Now I'll add it to the number. Squid, for fuck's sake. Squid, that better be going towards Subnautica. Uh, now it's a now it's an even even number. Thank you guys so much for the biddies. Squid, thank you for the biddies. Uh where do you want yours to go, Squid? I feel like you're a wild card. Most people I know their choices by now, but for you, I don't know. I don't know. You could really go any direction. Uh, yeah, no, Resident Evil. Okay. All right, fine. Two more biddies. <laughs> and that's almost actually kind of a pretty number. I'm not gonna lie. One to each. Oh my god. The true agents of chaos. Um. Okay, so we're supposed to eradicate darkness and the mold and shine lights on plants however i don't know how the fuck we're supposed to get in this room so uh actually that's not true i think we need the cube that cube got uh locked the fuck down that cube is not coming with us okay we need a new cube anybody see a cube Squid, thank you for the biddies! Better number Resident Evil. Okay, okay, okay. It's first one to fill the meter. No, 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 it's just, uh, it's time-based. The meter doesn't actually do anything. It's just a visual representation. I actually need to change it. Um, 10 biddies, okay. Hold on, we, we do need to make an adjustment because Resident Evil is now actually in the lead. So let's just, come on. You know you want to. No, it just gets bigger both directions. I don't understand. Why Streamlabs? There we go. Adjustments. 
manual adjustments. There we go. There we go. That almost looks right. <clears throat> I'll take it. I am holding alt, but sometimes it's alt and sometimes it's don't alt or you'll fuck it up worse. It's like a toggle. I think it's a setting I need to adjust. Hold on, they don't start from the middle and that's gonna bother me. Oh, that fucked up. In case you don't tell, I like things even. Oh, that's nice. Uh, sorry, to answer your question, it's the, it's whatever number is highest at the end of the month. Um, it's time-based, so, the, it's, like the fucking, uh, what was that show called? The comedy show where the points don't matter. It's like that. I mean, the points do matter, but not until the end of the month. We need something to go there. Where am I gonna find this? Okay, I'm gonna leave this here. So we can pick that up later. Oh, this is back the way we came. Oh, whose line? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whose line? Whose line is it anyway? Yeah, thanks. That one. It's like that one. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I did that. Oh, I okay. So I put the cube in, but then I never touched the button. That's my bad. That man just blink out of existence. on the stairs. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We did it. Um, ooh, fine. Now this door should be open because I pulled the trigger. I'm assuming a cube will have to go in that spot eventually, right? Jin, thank you for more biddies! Guys, love and chat for all the biddies! Where would you like those to go? I'm assuming Resident Evil 8. 22. Oh, 2 2. Oh. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Oh, you even did the math for me. Real MVP! Oopsie. Added a couple too many twos. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. That number is delicious! Jin, thank you so much for the biddies. Oh, am I? My slider's a little bit too tall. Nope. Nope. Fuck me. That's fine. Just behave. Why won't you behave? It won't do it. Come out here where I can see you. Look, it. Oh, I see what's happening. This one? That one. It's too many uh, activation boxes going on. Just make it even fatter. It's just the fattest line you've ever seen. Thank you, thank you for all those biddies, Jen. I really appreciate the support. And, and the number. That's a good number. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. Shit. God, I get so turned around. Uh, I don't feel right. Uh-oh. Something in this darkness is draining me. Oh, so now we're to the point where we can't stand in the dark. Okay, cool. I remember that being a Alan Wake thing as well. Um... Except it's not really draining me because we're cheating. <laughs> not today, darkness! 
Oh, gross. It's like a fluffy cloud. Ugh. I don't like being in it, though. I don't like being in the darkness. Oh, there you are. Oh, no, that's another place to put one in. Okay, so we've got a lot of places to put these in. Um... Oh no, it was draining my energy. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> like, oh my god, I just went to get the shit scared out of me underwater. And like, all you people want me to do is make out with a tall vampire lady. Whoa. What is that? That's not good. Come on, elevator, time to go. Oh, stay there. It's big. It's big. It's big! So you don't like the light. Okay. I can use that. Oh god, I don't like this. I hate this. I hate this. Legitimately not a fan. Oh, I see them. I see them. I see the cube boys. Look, we got we got cube boys galore here. What the hell? Give me the cube. Thank you. I'm not going to look at it. If I just don't look at it, it's not a thing. Battle music and all, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around this office. <laughs> I know there's some paperwork. Yeah boy, there's some paperwork. God the noises! I hate it. Look, I don't wanna I don't wanna see it. I don't wanna know. Oh god, I actually can't see it, and that is mildly concerning. Where did it go? Oh, it's over there. It's having a seizure. It's having a fit. Nothing even touches it. What the hell? These keep getting stuck in this hole. Come here. Come, come here. Thank you. You're back to the wall. Nice. Activation from clear the fuck over here. Ooh, arcade machines. There's no plants in here to shine my light on. Not that I have a light, but... Oh god, it can teleport. Oh god, the noises. No, not that. The cube, please. Oh shit! Oh god! Panic. It, now it's time to panic. Oh lord. Oh. He's going for a trip over there. He's like half, half a form. He's not even solid. Oh god, I fell. Oh no. Oh no. OH NO! <gasps> I look like this. Oh god! I think you just stole. You stole my bench. I don't know where this is supposed to go. <sighs> the panic is real! Trippet time! Welcome! Hello, hello! The, the panic is like serious real. Where is this last spot? Uh, 
Oh god. It literally makes the worst noises I've ever heard in my life. Do you guys see a spot to put this? Am I blind? <laughs> I'm not seeing one. Oh, oh, it's shooting me. Oh, what? Fuck it. These levers. Pull the lever! <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> There we go. Oh, God. Hartman, yeah, what happened to you? <sighs> Doesn't believe in pushing buttons. I apparently don't. God damn it. I want to pick this up, not get on the shelf. Well, now that we have some nightmare fuel. Oh my god, Julie the egg! really don't understand why I'm here. You know what you did, Mr. Hammond. I do? Tell me about Delivery Disaster. The movie? I don't. I mean, it wasn't very good. That's not what your review said, but we'll come back to that. Tell me where you got the movie from. Movie night. With a, you know, okay, not an end, not... Not night, like nighttime, but... Who contacted you? Who told you to review that film? No one. I just did it because it looked obscure. I didn't even like the movie. I should have given this a high score, but reviewing obscure films makes you look smart. And I thought if I look smart, I would get listeners. My podcast would take off and I could live out of my parents' basement and maybe even go to college and get a film degree like I've always wanted to. I swear. I swear, I swear, I swear. <sighs> okay, the kid doesn't know shit. I'm ending the session. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Resident Evil or Subnautica Below Zero as well when you find this scary. Listen, I am a chicken. I love to consume horror, uh, but games like when I'm in control of a character and something scares me, like uh, pff, I'm a pansy. It's pansy time. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's you're gonna get a lot of like this <laughs> because I panic so hard. Movies, fine, totally fine. Doesn't phase me. Don't care about gore. Love the gore. When things chase me, I'm out. I'm done. Absolutely not. Zero out of ten. Exactly. Ma'am, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. Langston. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. What's he talking like I'm an idiot? Langston. Langston, it's me, Jesse. Buddy. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Yes. Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before Julie, he gets Julie, welcome! That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Boy, a flare gun? Oh, Christmas lights! You could wrap them around your- I don't have any of those, Langston. Christmas lights. Shit. Okay, uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Gee, thanks, Keep Langston. From the Panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. <laughs> right, okay, well, uh, <laughs> break a leg. Oh my god, Langston. Why did I say that? Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> Langston. This thing can't have gotten very far. <laughs> Langston, go buddy. Flush him out. Hmm. I don't want to... Langston was right. I don't want to flush. This is kind of exciting. It's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Oh, Langston, buddy. Ever since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, 
but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the items. Doesn't Still, I don't know why people are making it so personal. Right. I mean, the teams in research handle paranatural materials every day, and no one thinks they're weird. Well, maybe that's should we go in Eagle? For being a bit out. Or should we go in FRA Maro? I don't know how to spell that. Let me just check that we can indeed go in. Eagles? Uh, sorry, Jen, I was waiting for Langston to stop talking. I'm glad you survived as well. You did great. Um, You didn't kill the vibe. You're good. Why is it in films where light hurts slash keeps them safe, no one wears light? Oh, light up sneakers! That's such a good idea! Oh, now we have one for Maro, too. Okay, we could do a poll. Let's do a poll. Let's do like a two minute poll. Let's let's pull this baby up. Which direction? We can indeed go both directions. So uh, where do we go? Eagles or what was the other one? M-A-U-R-O something like that. We're going to call it that. We're going to set it for a single minute. Ready, set, go. <laughs> I think that's how you spell. I probably spelled it wrong. How do you, how do you spell it? M A U R O. Hey, no, I think I did it right. I'm going for Maro since it sounds like me. It's so close. Go down. Oh man, what a plot twist. I will go down just to make sure that I didn't miss any paperwork while you guys vote in the poll. Oh, oh, man, beer. I do not have time. I'm sorry, man. My computer is taking a shit again. By computer, I mean keyboard. Ah, uh, wireless. Why do you do this to me? Actually, we could just do some light reading. I think I got all the paperwork, even while I was being terrorized. Oh, Julie, you're the only one for eagles. Machines. Oh. Shoom. Oh. Shim? We can play shoom. Shoom. Whatever. Oh, Mara won for six. Okay, we'll go Mara, but I kind of want to. This is so cool. Oh my god. Oh. The goal of crowd control is to survive. I thought it was going to be retro colors. I was really expecting it to be retro, and it was not. Where the fuck am I? I mean, I will win Shoom because I'm invincible, so I'm already cheating, but... He's a big boy. That's a thick boy. for a minute. Ah, oh, we can just let these blow up. Sadly, it's not 8 or 16-bit. Boo. He uh, kind of exploded. Did I beat the shoom? Nope. Nope, not quite. Oh. Oh, it's one of those. Absolute silence, everyone. Gotcha. Damn it. It's over here now. God, don't barf on me. I lost him.
Oh shit. Jesus. God damn it. How long do I have to survive Shoom? some chair legs are we done did i win nope there's a progress bar oh shit we're not even halfway holy man this arcade is rough i hope i get a good reward out of this where'd they go oh there you are Almost worse than the June box. Don't fuck with retro electronics in this game, guys. That's the pro tip here. God damn it. These assholes. They're so graceful! Stop dodging! Come here. You're my next projectile for that. Oh, I dropped him. That was, that was fun. Oh. No, I'm over halfway. Wait, isn't it supposed to load up with white? I love how you just don't take damage. It's the best. It's literally the best. I would not have made it through this game if, if we didn't have this cheat. Let me tell you. And the fact that the devs bake this in is like literally I'm living for it. I think it's filling up. Oh, there's one. You but come back here. Where'd it go? I guess it's gone. Yeah, you better run. These guys are the worst enemies. Oh, you know what would make this easier? Because I don't want to waste my entire life on this. Hold up, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we're not even doing maximum max one hit kills. Done, let's go. I'm done. Thank you. Next. And you're now dead. Next. Some people over here. You're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. Oh, I think I might have broken it. Where is everybody? Oh, there you are, you cheeky boy.
healing orb can't save you and I can one hit kill you. Bam. Bam. Oh, whiffed on that one. How would you ever actually make it through this shit? Oh, I whiffed again. in the action there. Wait, get back here. He was swift. He was Speedy Gonzalez. I like how it's like a rotation of the same kinds of hordes every time. Where are you? Oh. Be gone, small people. Man, it really does make you feel like God, though. Especially when you can float around like this. It's too powerful, you know? It's, it's ultimate. Where is everybody? Who am I missing? Oops. Hello? Anybody? Oh, there you are. You were hiding somewhere cheeky, weren't you? I love how the battle music stops every horde and then restarts. Oh, we got chair boys. Dead. Dead chair boys. Squishy boy? Dead boy. Mmm. Lasty rocket boy? Mm, dead boy. You're so small. I don't know if I hit that one or not. I don't think I did. Oh, there he is. We're so close. I'm so sorry. If I knew this is what the arcade did, I wouldn't have done it. See how much of this place we can absolutely just wreck. We never play Shroom ever again. We did it. Now we never do it again. I think this is what you might have hoped for. Wow, oh. it's loud. Yeah, yeah, that's what I hoped for. You are 100% correct. That's what I wanted out of Shroom. All right, we've got, oh, Shroom too. No, fuck that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, you guys voted. We're going to the place. No more shoom. Hey, Pino, welcome. How's it going? <laughs> round two? No, no round two. None at all. Never again. I will never shoom. I have not beat this game yet. Oh, Pino, you were missing out. It's a good one. It, uh, there was a poll, not a poll, uh, a thing, a thing going around Twitter where people listed their top six games, like of all time. Oh, Langston. Uh, and this game made it on my list. Like happy birthday, like. Pino! Guys, wish Pino happy birthday! I guess at the end of the day, we're still just wild animals scared of our own shadows. Okay, you guys voted to go this way. I was really surprised it made it on your list. Listen, Julie, this might be the only time I've ever reached a game's DLC. Ever. And still wanted more. Like, I cannot get enough. I love haunted objects. It is my favorite trope. Like collecting magical items in one area and having shit go bad 
is the best thing ever. <laughs> I love it so much. Now, like I was saying before, we're supposed to be on the same team, but sometimes it feels like it's every department for themselves, like it's a race and we're all trying to be number one. If it is a race, though, I'd say Darling is a mile ahead of everyone else. He was Trench's golden boy for years, but that relationship has gotten pretty tense, or so I've heard through the grapevine. Not that I spread rumors, just, you know, people talk. Not me, though. I keep my nose to the grind. Too much work to do to focus on. Oh, shit. We're locked in. Uh, Zero, I have not, but I just made it myself a reminder. Oh, we still have one hit kills on. I'm okay with that. I'm not fucking around anymore, boys. The director is here and it's takedown time. What? Let me in here. You guys hear something squelchy? Oh, I know what it is. Never mind. I only got half of it. Mira won't be able to handle the redacted. Psh, I can handle. I can handle. I can handle the redacted. <laughs> I can't. I can't handle the redacted. You guys know me too well. Set you right there. There's still something there. God, when you hear that screeching, you know there's a bad time headed for you. God damn, that was bright. I don't like that ominous music. Why are we getting so spooky, boys? That's, that elevator is also not great. Um, this investigation sector is looking a lot like other sectors we've been in. Is it not? Oh, this place is massive. Holy. We're gonna be in here for the next couple of years, boys. Where'd I put my flashlight? Hmm. I just dropped it, where'd it go? There we go. Sleep well. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Bye. My eyes. I know, right? I'm not. I'm also not a fan of having to hold the light. Uh, I feel like my brain powers should just work in tandem with all of my other powers, but whatever. Whatever. I feel like I should be able to Jedi mind, pick up a light, and read a piece of paper, but it's fine. We do have a lot of reading to do. Well, let's push this button first. Guys, look, I remember. Oh. I remember to push the button. Wow, the elevator opened and my light burned out. That's not fantastic news. Holy! Oh, God. I expected an elevator. Is that thing gonna follow me? Why do I feel like it's gonna follow me? Oh, man. Is what's his face in here? Oh, Lordy. Oh, bejesus. So. Okie dokie, Jen! Have fun playing something. Thank you again for all the biddies. I hope to see you next time. Have a good night. Good. Yeah. Oh, we're scooting a train. 
I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't think it's gonna make it very far. It's a puzzle! Oh, it stopped. I was definitely expecting to just get more lights out of that deal, but I did not. Okay, so that's corrupt. Can't get through that door. I probably should have put my cube elsewhere. Oh, nice, it's gonna let me change this cube. Okay, we're gonna put our cube. Um, somewhere. We're gonna put our cube somewhere. Oh, I can't get, I can't get to it. Not entirely sure what that did. Okay, so there's definitely more than one cube in here. There's one that's under this blob over here, um, but we need a light to get to it, and I... Oh, no, wait, maybe that's just a chest. It's just a chest. Hold up. Can I have... Nope, it's keeping that. Can't have that back. Another light. Shit. No! That's that's garbage. That's garbage. Oh, I get it. Okay. I get it, I get it, I get it. Um... No, oh, hey, hey, you give that back. Oh, we're just a little bit off. Oh, it's gonna work anyway. Nice. Lord. We're in. Oopsie. That is not what I wanted. Go away. We've got that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. All right, to the lower level we go. I don't like the sounds of going deeper into this shit, but whatever. Let us go. Oh man, we're going real. We're going real deep. Oh no. Ah! Damn it. Fuck! I just got that. I'm gonna stay right here for the remainder of forever. This game might have a grudge against eyes. It, uh, it definitely has some lights that are out of control. I know that for a fact. It's too dark in here to fight this thing. Oh no, stop doing that. Ugh. I hate him. He can't get in here, right? He's like too, too fucking tall. I don't think he can make it through this doorway. Oh God, no. The sound's coming out of it. Oh my Lord.
Okay, I don't know where this goes, but I have it now. So, where's that? Oh, I hate it. Uh, my fingers went tingly. Anybody else lose control of their fingers when they're scared? No, just me? Cool. Great for playing video games. Ah! Ah! He's right there! That was dumb! Let's go. No, not not there. Oh, over there maybe. I forgot about the Fringles. Panic fingies. Oh my god, I think it's not just me. My friend's fingers got get weak when she laughs too hard. Does that count? I'm extreme emotion affecting fingertips. I think counts, yeah. Even if it's joy. Oh god, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Lose control of your fingers when you're scared. Like, do they start writing out monologues? Flashing gang symbols? Yep, I, uh, I actually do Naruto ninja hand signs when I'm frightened. You sneeze when you get scared. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of adorable, though. Not gonna lie. Rasengan. <laughs> yep, when I get when I get scared, I just bust out some uh, some moves. Okay, does it go over there? No. Fuck. Where does this go? I have not seen a spot for one of these. Has anybody else? Am I am I panic blind right now? Oh no 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 no, Mr. Hartman. Secret wall. Talking about in here? Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. Well, that like kind of helped. He's talking about stuff. He's telling us a story. Nothing like being asked, why are you panicking by someone who's panicking? Yeah, Charles, yeah. Uh, was there another wall like that? Because that one, that one got us nothing. I mean, it got us a shortcut, which I do appreciate, but... Perhaps I need to consider going up. Is there any up? Man, oh my god, the way he moves! Ah! Okay, all right, here's the plan. Come up here and panic until we die. Is it up here? No. Okay, he's, he's bitching out, kind of. Ah, fuck, fuck! Oof. Oof. Sprinkle titties, okay. This place is pretty bright. No, nothing? Cool. Didn't want to put it here anyway. This is the end of the line. Uh, I don't understand what the wall did. Did it make it easier to stay in the light? Uh, it, it essentially took out, we have to like zigzag to get through the map, so it essentially took out a step. develop a fear of the dark from this I definitely am 
It might have already happened. Oh, what about here? Nice. Oh, battle music got more intense. Aha! So it was a cracked wall, just on the opposite end. Uh, push the button. Oh, let there be light. And Jesse said, let there be light. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Fuck Hartman. Yellow tarp is part of Control's game language. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're totally right. I've seen that other places and known that that meant here's where you go. I should have known. Should have known. It's all, it's all about that sweet, sweet tarp. Huzzah! Sorry, that puzzle took me uh, way too long. We're going to keep trucking here. Um, who's in favor of Hartman um, fizzling into dust when we turn on lights? Because I feel like that's what should be happening, but it's not what is happening. Cool. Okay. Since we only have a few minutes left, let's do some reading. Let's get through all this. And then we'll pick this back up. What is today? Thursday on Saturday. I want Hartman lap dance with those legs. That's a choice. That is a choice. <laughs> all right, Marar, have a wonderful night. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you next time. Uh, my next stream is Saturday at 1 p.m. MST and we'll be doing more control. Uh, let's do these readings and then we'll call it a night. Uh, Hiss Ranger research. We've got a Hiss uh, Corrupted Ranger airborne, airborne style. Uh, this subgroup of Hiss Corrupted Rangers has manifested the abilities to levitate similar to the Hiss Elevated Agents. However, these airborne Hiss Rangers uh, display no telekinetic abilities and simply continue to use mundane bureau weaponry. This evolution being so similar to the elevated possibly indicates the Hiss can share permutations through a type of network or perhaps osmosis. However, the fact that this development in the Hiss Rangers has only been observed in the investigation sector may indicate that an environmental factor is responsible. They could be responding to an altered item or another paranatural element found only in that sector. Or perhaps this is a natural progression of Hiss Ranger phenotype. Not enough time has passed to determine the conclusive trajectory of development for each of the his manifestations, assuming any such trajectory exists. Black. Oh my god, what did I tell you? I said there was a black market. Oh, there's a black market. The black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted uh, ceremonial objects, as well as genuine altered and paranatural materials, was raided in redacted Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties and prevented the Bureau from questioning all participants. The following interrogations revealed that not only uh, in their vast network of these realtors, retailers, uh, but that they seem to be gathering information on altered items and other paranatural materials from sources no unknown to the Bureau. The Bureau con is the Bureau is concerned here. The Bureau's concern here is threefold. A. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of, gen of the general public. B, the criminal individu individuals do not seem aware of the item's paranatural powers and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas. C, the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. Um... When is there not a black market? That's very accurate. It's very true. Um, Trevor Time, if you're headed out, I hope you have a wonderful night. Um, if not, enjoy this documentation on the Ocean View Motel observation report. 
An excursion into the Oceanview Motel and Casino discovered a previously unseen door in the lobby hallway. This door featured a spiral marking, designation door redacted. Similar to the other doors, it is locked and cannot be forced open. Alice Wake, a person of interest in the Bright Falls AWE, reference AWE 35 for details, and a former wife of missing author and the former wife of missing author Alan Wake, a sus suspected peri-utilitarian and redacted, contacted Agent Shaw and Dempsey of the investigation sector using a phone number given to her in 2010 in accordance with civilian outreach protocols. The call resulted in Mrs. Wake being brought into the oldest house for an in-person interview for full transcript referred to file redacted on Redacted 2017. The excursion into the Oceanview Motel occurred later that same day. Conclusion. Determining whether this was a basic synchronicity event, if Alan Wake is responsible, sorry, Alice Wake is responsible for its appearance, or if the door itself relates to AWE 35 is paramount, she should be returned to the oldest house, possibly even taken into the motel itself to confirm any other changes occur. Um... Yeah, Trepid Time. Yeah, this is directly linked to Alan Wake, uh, the developer's other game. Yes. Here for the reading. Okay, then I'm out. <laughs> then I'm outie. I have that game. I've watched it as a movie. Just can't play through the game. Not that much fun. Uh, yeah, that game also is um, scary. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, okay, Hartman Emil, official arrest report. Emil Hartman. Uh, the victims' names are Alan Wake, Anderson, uh, Tor Anderson, Odin, Redacted, Lane Rudolph, uh, Des we Wendy Desley, and Thomas Emerson, and Redacted. Officers' names Special Agent Remy Dennis. Charges Code 4, Kidnapping of Altered Individuals, one count. Code 8, Sanctions Against Altered Organizations, one count. Code 37, Obstruction of Bureau Investigation, one count. Code 74, Breaching of the Ash Act, six counts. Additional notes, offender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal uh, effects have been sent to, the re to research for analysis. After being cleared by the Bureau's researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each, except the Anderson brothers, due to their seniority and Wake possibly deceased. Okay, so the offender was Emil Hartman. And he killed or, and or victimized uh, Alan Wake, Tor Hartman. No, sorry. Jesus. Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson. So the Anderson brothers are Tor and Odin. Tor and Odin. And then uh, Ru Lane, Rudolph Lane, Wendy Desley, and Emerson Thomas. Ooh, NASA. Ooh, we got a NASA letter, boys. Okay. Interagency co cooperation decision read NASA. Following the NASA slash FBC coordination agreement in 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the Black Rock listing lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. Huh. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau research to, an to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both, both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the redacted far outweighs any spending uh, rela uh, related to processing and delivering a black rock from the, its medium Earth orbit. The redacted will provide the Bureau with an unparalleled resource resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is in the opinion of the committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Okay. Then we've got a Night Springs screenplay, page one. Oh, this is by Alan Wake. Okay. No, the screenplay was found in the Bureau uh, acquired... The screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired the Night Springs television series and all, and all of its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become the show's writer. Night Springs sec, uh, spec script episode Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. Hosts voiceover. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, 
or even of this world? What if there are things you can discover in Night Springs? Oh my god, it's like fucking Twilight, Twilight Zone. <laughs> uh, so you go into the secret lab, Night. it's nighttime. Uh, we are in the secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist, I've told you several times, Director, it isn't ready. I'm ready when it's... When it's ready when I say it is, Doctor. And that is beyond the portal. We have no control over it. Titillating. Such a great screenplay. Uh, examination of Paranatural Entities, The Shadow. Paranatural Entity A-010, uh, a.k.a. The Shadow, is an aggressive redacted consisting of three known types. Type A, localized manifestations of sentient redacted capable of occupying organic and inorganic material as well as exerting redacted over its surroundings. Type B, shaded individuals, human bodies redacted by the shadow. Uh, possessed. Uh, these individuals become notably more aggressive, but do seem to retain redacted of their previous selves. Research is ongoing as to whether this condition is reversible. Type C, shaped objects similar to type B, except that the inanimate objects are redacted solely to be used as destructive tools. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, see AWE 35, so that's the Alan Wake one, uh, which may imply a shared link to redacted intelligence. The threat this entity possess the threat this entity poses warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of a redacted. Good night, Julie. I hope you have a good night. Thank you for being here. See you next time. Um, oh, so this is this is what's on the other side. This is the Eagle Limited side. Uh, AWE44, the Eagle Limited. A train dera derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous inju injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Redacted. Oh, I wish we would have gotten to know the group. Uh, as a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or a direct result of the sabotage. Event response. The Bureau had been tracking said group at the time, uh, and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. As a result, the response team on site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. The individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. We're going in that boy. Ooh, the arcade cabinets. Okay. The Shum Arcade Cabinet, AI-40-PE. A distance of 10 feet between the items suppresses their effect. Effect only triggered on physical contact. Uh, description slash altered effect. Item, items are a pair of arcade cabinets uh, originally designed for the games Shum and Shum 2. Uh, Colger's Revenge. The games were manufactured by bon Bonco Entertainment, now out of business. Despite being a popular arcade game in Japan during the late 80s and early 90s, no other shoom cabinets have been found by our investigators. When touching one of the items while it stands within 10 feet of its counterpart, the user's mind is transported to a version of their subjective reality subjective reality that resembles a video game in logic and function. Events from their everyday lives become game-like sequences in which they speed in which speed and efficiency are paramount. The brain enters a stroke-like state as oops as proven by an EEG study on the users, which only ends after the user finishes their game, at which point they resume normal brain and motor function. Supplement background. Both items were purchased from a closing arcade in Redacted, Michigan, as part of a program to improve employee well-being through re recreation. 
The program was canceled before any game machines were dispersed throughout the oldest house, but not before these altered items were discovered. Supplemental information, teams in the research sector have voiced considerable interest in the items due to the fact that they only exhibit an altered effect when physically paired together, a codependent relationship previously unseen in altered items. Uh, see research specialist Pope's paper titled The Parasensitivity of Sequels for more information. However, after proving the items cleared status, altered status, Jesus, the investigation staff insisted on keeping them, claiming that they were important for sector morale. To date, numerous petitions have been filed by research sector personnel to move the items there for more extensive analysis. Um, and then we've got a haunted vending machine. Uh, containment procedure, none known. Testing in the investigation sector is currently ongoing. Description. A vending machine, its front end is covered with a bow wood panel, coin-operated buttons for selecting food products. The item generates and stores a variety of material, both edible and otherwise, in its rows of internal trays. Internal testing suggests that the item reacts to the mind of the individual in the closest proximity and will produce whether whatever they subconsciously desire. Yo, get me this vending machine, please. Attempts to cause the item to create a living redacted have consistently failed. Background. The item was discovered in a nursing home in Redacted, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Redacted called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the, that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise residents' spirits. The Bureau responded, response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. Yes, now I, I can tell you, shoot the vending machines. Maybe not with a one-hit kill, though. Oh, no. What are the vending machines going to do? Oh, no, I don't know if I like that. I, I do need to turn off the one-hit kill, though. <laughs> I need to do that before we stop. Uh, Kirkland. So you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was f uh, fucking hired to do? My job? What to... Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate these scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some pretty fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more. And they they got to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak any classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people, all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights, and you need to let me back into the interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. This won't stop unless we stop them. You can go ahead and put me on suspension. See if it slows me down, Agent Hewitt. Man, Hewitt is not having it. Violence against vending machines. Is that where all the hu humanity's problems stem from? Yep, vending machines, yep. Especially the ones in Japan that sell used panties. Can't guarantee it. Hello, my feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes to bed. Sincerely, me. What? What? <laughs> the best letter. The best letter I've ever read. My feet gossip at night, and now I have to wear shoes. Sincerely, me. <laughs> what? Um, okay, we, we listened to all those. And we have one one more hotline thing. The resonance card. The best letter ever. Thing that had been Ottman. Vibrating. Remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros. A spiral. A maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole twisting inward tightening i don't like the way alan wake writes and deeper to the bottom the heart and through to the other side 
The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. Wait, Which that is the his chant. He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now he crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. The the yeah the baby 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 yeah orange peel that's that's a his chant. So now Hartman's getting it on the his chant. Is that is that what I'm understanding? What we got? Sure, why not? Upgrade that. Upgrade that too. Why not? Why does he have to wear a jacket over his zip jacket sweater? Listen, it's called style. <laughs> Kidding, I have no idea. It seems like you'd get really hot, but I think Alan Wake was set in like Northwestern America. Yeah, that's right. So like Oregon, Washington, like rainy, cold. So that kind of jacket is is pretty common there. Um, okie dokie, guys, that is it for today. Thanks for coming to reading hour there at the end. <laughs> 17 minutes of pure reading. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me for more control. We'll continue this DLC on Saturday at 1 p.m. MST. I hope to see you there. Um, until then, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And uh, let's roll our credits and do some thank yous if you're on your way out have a wonderful night i will see you all on saturday um if you're sticking around let's see if there's anybody to raid it's a hard maybe until it's a no it's a no okay you know i try um maybe one day i'll get brave enough to just raid a random person maybe maybe not Spotify's thinking about its life. So while it does that, um, there it goes. Jin, thank you so much for the biddies. I hope that you are having fun playing the game of your choice. Thank you, thank you for all the biddies. Squid, thank you for all the biddies. Cookie, thank you for the biddies, even if they cause chaos. <laughs> I really appreciate the biddies. Uh, Julie, thank you for your biddies. Thank you, thank you. Air, thank you for your biddies. Uh, Jin of Tsushima44. Thank you for the resub. Welcome back to the superheroes. Happy two months. And Box, thank you for the resub as well. Happy 40 months. Julie, thank you for the resub. Happy 40 months. Thank you, thank you guys for all the love and support today. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope to see you on Saturday for more control. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night. That's it for me. Bye guys. Except Cookie, you evil. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Cookie.